Difficulty, however, was always a challenge to William. And he wanted Joan back. He liked Joan. She was quiet and shy and amenable and dependable. And he was a god in her eyes. Claim 
to me in a state that culture was the way she exposed my name and the shame and now I'm supposed to tell you all the time and the place but still the better thing Enveloped in the elephant of the room I'm already in I don't give a it's irrelevant Curtains dividing the platform from the hall were drawn for no other reason than that Mr. Westenbury enjoyed drawing them back. The clock struck eight, and Mr. Westenbury, with his own inimitable air of providing the most important item of the evening's entertainment, drew them back. Miss Evesham gave a gasp of horror, for there, on the platform, was the wooden table, the altar, she supposed. And on it was Hector, her Hector, whom she had left asleep by the fire, now spirited here by some infernal means and standing motionless, not moving a muscle or twitching a whisker, hypnotized. And behind the altar was Miss Perrot, looking more witch-like than ever, hatless, her white hair falling about her face, wearing a long black coat and leaning on a stick. Then came the culmination of the horror, for the witch hobbled to the edge of the platform, looked down into the well of the hall, fixed her gimlet eye on Miss Evesham, and said in a voice that froze the blood in the